We're back science family doing mold to mold conversions and we're on the side two of the intro mold to mold worksheet. If we look, we have to first make sure we balance the equation. It looks like iron's going to react with oxygen to form rust. Since we have two oxygens on the reactant side and three on the product, we're gonna need to make that an even number of six. So two times three oxygen will give me six. Three times two oxygens will give me six. But that two times two iron is going to give me four iron. So I better put a four there. All right, now that I am balanced, I'm ready to use that balanced equation to my advantage in order to do some conversions. So if an old car has 20 moles of iron on it, how many moles of rust could form? So moles of iron, that's like my A, and then moles of a new substance is like my B substance. So I'm going from moles of A to moles of B. Okay, so start with what I have. I have 20 moles of iron, iron is Fe, and I need to convert that to moles of rust. So let me use my balanced equation. I've got four moles of iron for every two moles of Fe2O3, which is rust. So that's a four to two ratio. So remember, I'm going to put moles of iron on the bottom so they can cancel out the moles of iron I started with. And there's a four next to iron in the balanced equation. And I'm going to use two moles of rust on top because the rust, Fe2O3, is what I'm solving for. Notice, though, when we do the work properly, moles of iron cancel out and we're left with the moles of rust, which is what we need. In order to do this math problem, we know we multiply by the first number we've given, multiply by the top, divide by the bottom. So 20 times two divided by four, that would be 40 divided by four, so that would be 10. So you'd end up with 10 moles of rust, Fe2, O3. Perfect. Let's take a look at number seven. We've got 14 and a half moles of oxygen come in contact with iron. Because of that, how many moles of iron could rust? So oxygen is what I'm starting with. It's my A, and I'm turning it into a new compound, which is B. So I'm going to go from moles of A to moles of B. Fine. Let's start with what I'm given. 14.5 moles of oxygen. Oxygen is O2 in the balanced equation above. I need to get rid of moles of oxygen. So I know I'm going to put that on the bottom. And I'm looking to solve for moles of iron. So I'm going to put moles of iron on top. To get my numbers for those conversions, I'm just gonna look on my balanced equation. I've got three moles of oxygen for every four moles of iron. So it's gonna be three moles of oxygen for every four moles of iron. Do that, and let's see where we're at. If we take the 14 and a half moles, multiply it by four, and divide it by three, we get 19.3 moles of iron, Fe. There we go. Simple as that. As long as we're using our balanced equation, we can get the job done. Taking a look at number eight. You've got 17 moles of rust are found on an old motorcycle. So if 17 moles of rust form, they want to know how many moles of iron must have originally reacted. So that means we're going to start with 17 moles of rust. And rust, as we can see, is Fe2O3. Just have to use our context clues. I'm gonna get rid of rust moles, so I'm gonna to have to put that on the bottom to cancel out. Up on top, it looks like I'm trying to sol solve for moles of iron. So that means in the numerator, moles of iron has to be there because that'll end up in my answer. Now that I have that, I just have to look off my balanced equation for iron, it looks like there's two moles of iron. I'm sorry, <laughs> for rust, there's two moles of rust for every four moles of iron. Looking at a different thing, saying the wrong name. So to clarify again, there is four moles of iron for every two moles of rust. And when we do that, we're just going to do 17 times four divided by two, and you end up with about 34 moles of iron you would have had to have at the beginning in order to give you 17 moles of rust at the end. All right, let's move on 
to the next one. Number nine, this is if you have 45 moles of iron, how many moles of oxygen? So if iron is what you're starting with, that's your A, and turning into something new is your B. So let's start with what we have. 45 moles of iron, that's Fe. We want to get rid of iron, so that means we're going to have to put moles of iron units on the bottom to cancel out. We're going to need to put oxygen up top, so moles of O2 is oxygen up top. And the only way we're going to figure out our numbers is to look on our balanced equation. For iron up top, it's four moles of iron for every three moles of oxygen. So that means if I double check my work, moles of iron will cancel out. I'll be left with units of moles of oxygen, which is what I'm trying to solve for. And if I do 45 times three divided by four, I end up getting about 33.75 moles of oxygen. That's M-O-L. All right. Nice job, science fam. Let's take the last one, which is one little extra step. We're going to need to use our mole map. Get ready. Back in action with the very last question. We have 20 liters of oxygen. 20 liters of oxygen is actually a volume. So we have volume of a substance. I'll call it volume A. And it's going to react with a ton of iron to give, figure out how many moles of rust. So eventually, we want to figure out moles of a different substance, B. In order to do that, you have to figure out how many moles of A, the first thing you started with, it, that actually fits in that volume. And then you can convert that to moles of B. So that's going to be a two-step problem. If we look on our mole map, we can go from volume island to mole island very quickly. To do that, let's just take our 20 liters of oxygen that we're given. When you look on the mole map to go from volume island to mole island, it says to put 22.4 liters of whatever you're talking about, which is oxygen on the bottom, for every one mole of oxygen. Now that we did that, take a look at what happened to the units. We no longer have liters of oxygen, but we have moles of oxygen, which means we're in moles of A. Now we can convert to moles of B. To do that, we can do what we've been doing this whole worksheet. We can now take moles of oxygen and put it on the bottom because we want to eventually get rid of that from up here. And we're going to put moles of what we want. And moles of B is going to be rust. Rust is Fe2O3. And that says it right here. It forms rust. This is the only thing that forms. So that's how we know it's rust. All right. Where do those numbers come from? Off the balanced equation. Oxygen is three moles for every two moles of rust. So even though this was slightly different than what we've been doing, these are all the skills you already have. We're gonna take 20, multiply by one, divide by 22.4, multiply by two, divide by three, and the answer we get is about 0.595 moles of Fe2O3, which is rust. All right. So now that we've done that, we've kind of started, well, we've definitely learned how to convert from one mole to another, and we can start incorporating our mole map into it as well. Nice job, science fam. And let's keep it going and start adding on even more steps so that we can really convert back and forth between a lot of things. Be well.